Yo, what up OGs, Grove420Guide here, and welcome back to the Lone Clone series, day 72. Now, I want to start off this episode by apologizing for being missing in action for the past nine days. Now, I've been off screen, I haven't been updating the Lone Clone series, which is supposed to be a daily interactive Go Journal. I haven't been updating season four. I've been so preoccupied behind the scenes, updating equipment and just gathering channel concepts and, um, and just figuring out how to make a better channel and just provide better content for my subscribers, my OGs, my favorite people in the entire world, you guys. So you guys might notice some of the changes already. We are working with a brand new camera. We are working with the Canon 60D. So we've stepped it up. We are working with a handy cam, a Panasonic HC100 VM or something, I don't even know. Um, so yes, the, the quality of the shots are gonna be just so much more stellar, and I'm so excited to finally be working with just such a beautiful camera to just bring you guys the best content that I possibly can. So for today's episode of the Lone Clone series, we're just basically gonna be getting flower shots and we're gonna be testing out our new camera here. And um, really, we've been away for nine days. I don't really know where we left off. Now, I know in um, previous updates, I want to say like two updates ago in our Lone Clone series, we started our Monterey Insect Garden Pest Spray with the active ingredient of Spinosad to ward off our thripes and our pesty caterpillars. Now, we've since then, we've applied that application twice, and now I've not seen any new traces or any signs of thripes or caterpillars. There is the occasional thripe every now and then, um, but for the most part, we have no pests, and I, I really, I cannot believe that we finally found a product that works, and we're going to be keeping up with this until harvest, so maybe another one or two applications, and then we should be ready for harvest. Now, our girl here, both of our girls, our Yoda OG and our GDP over here, have been flowering for seven weeks, so they are ten-week strains, and they are approaching harvest quite soon here. And now you can see they are just stacking under the weight of this natural sunlight. And they are just so super frosty, just bursting with trikes all over each juicy calyx. I cannot wait to see how the, in the, the outdoor smoke compares to the indoor smoke with these, uh, these two strains in particular. Now for the past nine days we've been absent, we've kind of just been in autopilot with our Lone Clone series here. We've just been coming out here occasionally and watering our girls. Now, the truly magical part about this entire Lone Clone series is typically with these strains in the past, I've had to support the support the sheer weight that the, uh, the flowers do develop. Now with either of these two plants, the Yoda, and the, uh, the GDP here, they've both been low stress trained all the way through their veg cycle. So they have nice hardy branches and they're able to support just massive weight under, uh, under their own plant structure without any additional uh, support mechanism for, uh, for holding up their, uh, their flowers. So that just goes to show how important low stress training can be throughout your veg cycle. Now. I don't know if you guys could hear all of that chaos that was going on. We had gardeners blowing dust and shit around, getting debris flying through the air, and uh, covered the camera in dust. And not only is that covering the camera, but it's covering our flowers in dust. So that's just one more additional variable with uh, the outdoors that we just cannot control. It's just certain things like that. And, um,. And that's really, with all that being said, OGs, I think this part's coming to an end of day 72 of the Lone Clone series. Now, there is one additional um, part that I guess I, 
I've added to this Lone Clone series, um, since I've been gone this past nine days, we incorporated one other clone. So now instead of having two clones, we have three clones in all. And the third clone that we've added is our Zeus OG. And now it's funny because we put this strain out one day and the next couple days we were really, really busy with running errands and, um, and just actually getting the camera. And my mind was completely elsewhere with uh, getting the new camera and just setting it up and, and testing out shots and the quality of it that I totally forgot that I had freshly transplanted a clone and brought her outdoors. And she had definitely suffered under the... Uh, the extreme heat. She was completely drooping and wilted and she looked like she was way far gone. We happened to give her a little bit of water and within the next day she perked right back up. So that just really goes to show how resilient the cannabis plant can be. That's all I got for this episode of the Lone Clone series you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed the new quality of the camera that we're working with. So Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment and like. And as always, OGs, subscribe.